Hi everyone and welcome back to Man of Medan. Um, we found the the ship. La porte, la porte, vite, la porte. So uh, I guess we're going to enter looking for Manchurian gold. Brad is still down in the in the boat under the bunk bed. I hope he doesn't drown. Um, but I think the rest of us are going on the ship. Oh, that's not good, right? Yeah, I think you can't use the boat if you don't have the distributor cap, right? Hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's a clever move by them. Yay, we're going to enter a, a ghost ship. Great idea. <laughs> we didn't learn from all those ghost ship movies. Merde. Yes. Jesus. You know, in real life that must be... Very impressive as well. You know, very eerie. But I mean, on this boat, everyone died. At least I assume everyone. Oh. Oh, I'm going to have to put the brightness uh, up. So if, I hope for you guys it's not way too bright. Uh, yeah. For me, that's going to be best. Yeah, oh, much better. Oh, where am I? No, no, I do wanna. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe if I didn't do that, Brad could pick it up. But I mean, I didn't know that, so. This whole place is a floating death trap. Oh. Oh, oh no, I did have to go there. To be fair, it's still pretty fucking dark for me. Hmm. Wait, what did she drop? I saw she dropped something. I don't know what. Great. Corpses are already falling everywhere. Am I supposed to go here? Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck. The Mask of Madness. Nice. Where am I? I kind of want to look around, but... I also can't really, to be fair. Okay, relax. I think I'm going to have to put the brightness up again. <sighs> to be fair, I think my screen is on the lowest. Uh, so am I this way, right? Are you scared of a little rat? Hmm. 
Ooh, I want to see this as well. Internal Memorandum, Division Army to Private O'Neill. You're covering Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. He is uh, sick again? First is 2400. Check the chart for rotation. Again, this is the third time this week. None of us like it down there. Maybe Patterson should just buck up. Just get on it. Piece of shit. Okay. So I guess they were guarding something in... What was it? Cargo 3A? Look, Olsen, I'm just trying to explore this ship. Maybe I'll find the Manchurian gold. Like, really. You gotta just let me explore. Olsen, you to see. <laughs> okay. All of you. Into the room. Okay. Hey! It's pitch black in here! Give us the light! They told me but I wouldn't get sure. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're so surprised that he gives us a light. Like, oh. Thanks. I mean... So now we have two lights. Thank you, Junior. Like, the asshole is Olsen, Junior is fine, and then the... the other guy... What was his name? What the hell is this fucking place? Dude, even those meatheads seem spooked. You think this ship is the Manchurian Gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. Yeah, they were probably shipping something. Probably not Need gold, though. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. Second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the That's ship. That's also true. But... Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. True, and you're yeah, all on bare feet. Escape. Didn't exactly work out. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. They swiped our distributor cap. It's gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So, okay, what exactly is a distributor cap? Now pretend you're talking to someone who doesn't know anything about boats. It makes the engine work. I don't know. It, the Duke of Milan is dead in the water without it. <laughs> While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. At least he's kind of apologizing. I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe <laughs> just apologize you know you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever but i i mean obviously that's not true they're being just as bad to you as they are to us so yeah allow me to translate he's saying that he's sorry well i yes mm, well your apology is kind of accepted <laughs> cool cool <laughs> Okay, I'm going to look at stuff. He's heroic, reckless, innocent, guarded. Kind of courageous, that's floating in the back guard. Back, back. Ground. Sometimes I don't know what I'm saying. Fliss. Fliss did not appreciate Conrad flirting. Fliss told Conrad she'd be happy to help him buy a boat. Conrad was genuine about his ignorance. When was that? Conrad was curious about the distributor cap. Oh, maybe that's what, what that meant. Okay. No, no, no. I want to keep looking at stuff. Uh, it's kind of important, I, I think. Julia joked with Conrad. Oh, yeah. Back with the ghost story, I guess. So Conrad did not like the compliment about his sister. Yeah. Conrad agreed with Alex about escaping. 
Brad and Conrad, Brad told the truth about his previous experience and like that Brad had a beer with him. Yeah, okay. Actually, yeah, okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> What's this? Oh, newspaper. What happened here? Yes. Am I supposed to be able to read this? Uh oh. Worst gangland. Mm hmm. Of 1947. When we told you this would be a quick little adventure, archaeologists so missing in way. Iraq. Should we expect an itemized bill for all these uh, extras? Yeah. Kidnapping, seven. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. You're stupid bickering. I'll get back to you on that one. At least you're not charging us for the damage to your boat. I am now. Oh. I found. I'm going to keep exploring though. <laughs> What's that? Is that a real creepy glasses? Cool. I guess. <laughs> going to try and find most stuff. I think that one file, maybe I kind of locked myself out of it by trying to pick it up. What do you think this ship was? Oh well, definitely an army vessel. Hi baby doll, I miss you like crazy. These months until my next leave and jumping into your arms. I'm really scared. Three, oh I said three months, okay. I've been on some shore leave with the guys, had a few beers, but don't worry, I'm keeping everything ready for you if you <laughs> if you catch my trip. As work, I hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away and I want to keep you safe. Oh, it's kind of sweet. Great. Of all the places I'm gonna die on, a bona fide ghost ship. Uh, I get a lot of time. I got a lot of time to think while I'm guarding the cargo hold. It's dark and spooky down there. Some of the other guys have seen figures roaming around, but I've always got you with me to keep me safe too. Um, I will be with you soon and get a job as a mechanic and we can get married and have two children. We'll be happy together forever. Love you very much. Miller? Wait, what? I thought Miller already had a kid. Oh no, Miller was someone else. <laughs> it wasn't Joe Miller, right? Probably not then. Thought it might have been, but actually, wasn't it Joe Miller? But Joe had a kid, I thought. Is this I painting? Why this was ripped off. Oh. Oh, a doggo. <laughs> a little doggo. A little Yorkshire Terrier on the ship. Danny. Okay. T'es sérieux? Sorry. It's been so long I actually heard French. Les prisonniers. Yeah, okay, so I think Danny and Junior don't want anything to happen to us, like, it's just Olsen who's a fucking asshole. Yeah. 
Olsen is kind of the dangerous one. Please tell me Junior still has the gun. And not Olsen, because I would not like that. Can I talk to anyone? No, I don't think so. Okay. Oh, here. Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey, come here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. We don't know where a bit like this would go. I think we just gotta find out. You want me to just smash through this wall? Mm. Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Yeah, okay. Conrad, you do it. Yeah, we're great at uh, distractions. But let's barricade the door instead. <laughs> hey, hey. Well, finally, Fliss. Not my fault. <laughs> totally not my fault. Stay quiet. We need to keep going. No, fuck that. We have to go back for Fliss. I'm the reason she got snagged. No way. No heroics. Who says that I'm the reason? We can. Shit. You're right. Hey, at least we got lies. And I'm going in here. <laughs> I'm just going in everywhere. What's this? Turn it. No. All ship personnel. Double guard duty on all doors and on all watches. No talking, no playing of cards, no smoking, no alcohol, no gambling. Uh, guard personnel. Mm -hmm. Guys, nobody is allowed into 3A. Okay. Sorry, it's very hard to read those today. Maybe it is because I have the brightness down. Maybe my glasses are uh, dirty. Actually, no, I just cleaned them. Oh, thought that was a door. Eh, yeah. let's go in there. <laughs> just leave it to me to go everywhere. Anywhere I can. And then there's the mystery of the smelly socks punching briefs. Nice. So this is like the the washer room, wash, blah, blah, probably. <laughs> Motherfucker. Is there something else in there? Hmm. 
No, I guess not. <laughs> ah, so this was kind of useless. I didn't miss anything here, right? Oh. Actually, is there anything here? No, it doesn't allow me to do anything. Uh, I didn't see a painting either, because I gotta look out for those. Which is difficult when it's pitch black everywhere. No, oh, that was a bit of... No, don't go through that door. Oh, this is actually a wall I'm standing against? Okay. I uh, didn't realize that. Am I stuck? Maybe. Yes. Pro. Still looking around. <laughs> I just want to know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish? And leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. Yeah, that's true. Something clearly doesn't add up. Where? Jesus Christ, this is just fucking... Oh, finally, I was trying to read that. Oh, that's the map. Where's the you are here arrow? Well, I don't know, but the... Wait, two is out of bounds? I thought three was out of bounds. Okay. You motherfucker! <laughs> Game trying to scare me for no reason at all. Oh wait, can I actually take it? Oh no. <sighs> Hi, Julia. Sister. Who? Are we going here? Can I? I want to find a painting. I feel like I've skipped a couple. Well, maybe one or two. Like, there's probably not more than that in this area. But I do feel like I skipped some. Oh, we're in the bathrooms. This is amazing. Everyone loves public bathrooms. <sighs> he doesn't want to look into them. Just... Okay, fine, let's go to the outer end then, I guess. I wanted to look into every stall, but... Okay, let's try and read. Dear... <sighs> Pike? I'm finally... Pike doesn't sound right. Uh, I'm finally coming home. This is it, darling. One last trip across the Pacific and I'll be back to you and the girls. I can't wait to see your faces. Tell Ned and Nancy to get excited. They're gonna see Daddy real soon and he's got gifts for y'all. I'm sure glad to be back at sea. It's hotter than an Oklahoma summer out here on land, and there's no escape from it. I've been alright because I got your letter to keep me going. They can... They censor them, which is probably for the best, because sometimes the others steal them to read, and I don't like them reading your letter. Wait. Spooky. Uh, that part was unreadable. Really creeps me out. He keeps telling me there's a little boy. Brand. Brad? Brand? And it sounds just like Ted. I know he's just messing with me. There ain't no way we got a stowaway. <sighs> R4 to stick. Now, 
the war is over, I bet they'll edit this bit out. But it... So what a place can do to a guy. I gotta go for now, honey. There's some commotion outside. Um, that usually means I'm about to be really... Uh, to be real busy for a while. I'll write again soon, Robert. Jesus Christ, man. Can they make those letters even less readable? Like, I hope maybe there's an option. Um... Is there no way to read letters? Yeah, no, you can't even just read the letters. I'm sorry if you, uh... Make a game like this. Please just make sure you make your letters easily readable. Also, your subtitles should be able to be much larger than they are. You know, for you guys who might have also noticed how fucking small the subtitles are. <laughs> I hope you guys can read them. I wonder if Fliss is okay. Yeah, me too. She's a tough cookie. What are they doing to her? Jay. You're gonna drive yourself crazy. Just hope for the best. Okay. Should I go here? You hear that? If by that you mean the terrifying sound, then no, I didn't hear anything. You know you did? Was it something moving? Something moving would make that sound, sure. This place is fucking massive. Maybe I should have gone the other way first. Is there anything here? Nope. Mm. Anything here? No. Not here either. so easy to get stuck on stuff just because you're like I'm exploring I'm Dora the Explorer um okay let's uh, read this <laughs> read this can I oh I can't even really oh I can are you kidding how am I wait give me a sec uh, June 19th, I, identif I identified problem areas with structural brittleness and cracks in some sections of Cargo Hold 1. Oh. I instructed our shipwright to carry out the necessary welding um, repairs. I advised the captain to go easy, especially in bad weather, any aggressive movement could cause the ship to break its back. June 20, I responded to a complaint that some electrical equipment had been malfunctioning recently. I discovered grout, groats? What? I discovered uh, of tin whiskers around some of the Components, I cleaned and added some I cleaned and added some mm, to the solders which has stopped the equipment shorting out and shall and should slow down the gro growth? Growth of what? 
I am not really getting it. June 21st, I conducted a thorough engine room inspection of fuel, oil and fluid, which shaved, showed, which showed lower levels of cylinder oil than expected. I reminded staff in the engine room to be attentive and vigilant with mm, their hourly checks and to alert an engineer if there is any loss of pressure. June 22nd, the ship was caught in a heavy electrical storm, which began, oh yeah, that's what happened, which began shorty, shortly after midnight. The lightning strikes caused a lot of electrical arcing, traveling through mm -mm -mm. cables aloft deck which has left damage. The grease has boiled up and destroyed some of the cabling. There are no reports of structural damage, however. Can you move your thumb? Uh, I have to work through the night to mm -mm -mm, full damage assessment. Ah, oh, man. Really. If there is a way to read those texts, uh, texts more easily, let me know because this is painful. Like, normally I can read cursive very well, but that type of cursive? No. That's just fucking horrible. Learn to write more than just waves. Because damn, that hurts. Um, actually, I should probably be stopping here um, for today, um, because I don't know how much longer this section is going to take, and um, I've been going out about for, I think, half an hour. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this episode, um, and I do hope to see you in the next one, where we will be continuing uh, looking around the ship, I guess. So, have a nice one. Bye!